All right, we're here with crude brother Nick as he takes on his next massive pepper challenge. This time, he is going to eat almost a teaspoon of each one of 14 pepper sauces. Starting at the lower end with Frank's Red Hot, which is 450 on the Scoville Heat Unit Index. To the middle, uh, everyone knows the Tabasco Original Sauce, which is 2,000. 500 to 5,000 and all the way up to the top where we have Kajan's Trinidad Scorpion pepper sauce which we just checked on their website clocks out at 1.4 million on the Scoville heat unit index so let's further uh, further ado crew brother Nick let's get going Frank's Red Hot yeah um. Here we go. Shouldn't be this bad at all. It's funny that Frank's Red Hot is called Red Hot because that was the lowest by far. Probably should taste about one step above ketchup, probably. Hold, okay, hold that's on. good, that's good. Ha! I don't taste anything. Nothing, okay, next. This is Tabasco green pepper sauce. All right, let's do it. This one I actually like quite a bit. It's got a good taste. Yeah. Jalapeno peppers it's in this one. It's got that unique taste for a hot sauce. Yeah, it's surprisingly mild despite it. The I fact saw this at some restaurants. The fact that it has jalapenos oh, in it. Oh, here. There. <laughs> I think I think uh, my tears are ready to come later. Oh, that's a, oh he's dodging the spoon. All right, let's just say I did it. There we go. Hmm, still, pretty, still tastes pretty good. Pretty unique. Not very hot at all. Nope. Okay, next is Cholula Hot Sauce Original. Let's try that one out. Like a boss. <laughs> Eating hot sauce is like a boss. <laughs> like a boss. This one comes out very easy. Still tastes pretty mild. That's pretty mild. Okay, next. Tabasco Chipotle version. Yeah. Do you remember that one having a good taste? Kind of smoky. It's kind of like a barbecue with a little kick to it. Well, that one comes out very easy. It tastes very much like barbecue with a little kick to it. Okay. On to the next one, Tabasco Buffalo flavor. Yep. I think my tears are coming. Well, not right now, but I mean, I'm not saying they're hot and all that. I'm saying like for later. Yeah, these can't be affecting you at all, I would think. No, I mean, seriously, I'm, I think they're just getting ready for the other ones. That one's pretty mild too, right? Mm-hmm. That was a little uncouth. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. I, I, I can tell it's going up a bit. Okay, now we're up to the Louisiana hot sauce. This one, to me, was really similar to Tabasco. Reg regular. regular stuff. Yeah. Which makes me wonder who had the recipe first. Probably Tabasco. I mean... Probably, I would think. Tabasco was since 1868. This is... I don't know, this is probably pretty new. Well, I don't know, that one, I thought that one's been around a long time too, but. All right, how was that? That one's definitely been around longer. How was that one? Pretty mild too. Okay. Now we're up to the one everyone knows, regular Tabasco original. Get a little hotter finally? Yeah. Regular oh, Tabasco man. is... um. When you, when you swallow that stuff wrong, it really feels hot in your throat when you swallow that stuff wrong. Yeah, that, that one's um, 2,500 on the Scoville up to 5,000. Okay, now we're up to another one that seems similar to Tabasco, Trappy's Louisiana Original Hot Sauce. 
Let's chug some of this. Straight up. <laughs> Never heard of this stuff before. Until we found I, I think I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Or I've seen it in some places. That's a slow one. It's going up. Okay, that one's pretty strong. Well, it's about it's about as strong as these two. Okay, now we're up to Crystal. Louis, another Louisiana sauce, Louisiana's Pure Crystal Hot Sauce. And this one we know has cayenne peppers in it, so let's chug some of that. I think that one does too. Okay. Was that one pretty hot? Um, mm, not really, but um, here. How did it compare to Tabasco? This one is pretty big, the bottle. Yeah. This how how did um, Trappies compare to Tabasco? Mm, I'd say actually that one is worse. Tabasco is worse? Yeah. Okay. But this one's pretty big. I don't know how someone could finish all this. Just drink the whole thing. <laughs> this one comes out actually faster than the last one. Still not as hot as Not that bad, hey? Yeah. Okay, now we're moving up a little bit. Um, to our final five. Uh, one that we know is kind of hot. Two that are kind of mysterious. And then uh, two that are extremely hot. So first of all, we're going to do the Tabasco habanero sauce, which is seven to eight thousand on the Scoville heat unit scale, which is surprisingly low because habaneros are normally a hundred thousand plus. Hundred thousand or three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Surprised they sell them at grocery stores even because of how hot they are. It's like who's eating that stuff around here. Yeah, I'm always surprised how many habaneros are at every grocery store. You wouldn't think they would sell that many. Okay, now, one that we have no idea... Okay, now that one was going up a bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, one we have no idea what it is. Uh, Valentina Sauce Picante Mexican Hot Sauce Extra Hot. So let's try that one. This one might go up a lot. It's got an amazing shelf life uh, for whatever's till, in it. Till 2018. Goes till 2018. Right here. Right now it's 2014 and, and it goes on for four years, almost five years, because it says November 2018. Right. And right now it's January. This one should be interesting. All right. You know, actually isn't that bad. Really? I think that one was worse. Okay. Now, um... I don't know why they say it's extra hot. Coming up to the final three, this one... I guess I'm just used to it. This one is the Tamaruda Mexican Hot Sauce Extra Hot. Let's try that one. How are you feeling? Mmm. Uh, um, I'm heating my mouth. Uh, a little sweat. But that one wasn't that bad, actually. This one probably be a bit worse. Not getting, not getting nauseous from all these hot sauces? Well, I am a little. Okay. Heading towards the breaking point. This is gonna be an interesting one too. I think it's either gonna be surprisingly hot or surprisingly mild. All right, that's way okay. enough. Oh wow. <laughs> Strong? Yeah. I figured that one would have been. Well, stronger than that one, but, but not as, actually, well, this one will be Probably, I thought this would be as hot as that one. Okay, shake up that ghost pepper one. This is, let me get a close up. Dave's Gourmet Insanity Ghost Pepper Sauce. I'm already starting to breathe heavy now. So hot it's spooky. This sauce has um, ghost peppers in it and also hot pepper extract, as if the ghost peppers wasn't enough. Okay, shake it up a little bit and take a good spoonful of that. Let's see. Not the, a full spoonful. Let's not. let's see a, a almost full spoonful. The power no. of crude brother Nick. All right, maybe. Oh. oh no, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. Do, do. There. Now, crude brother Nick has already eaten half of a real ghost pepper. So. <sighs> oh, man, it comes out fast. <sighs> That one's stronger than anything, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. <sighs> Luckily, that one doesn't come out that fast. Yeah, we don't want a lot of that one. <sighs> Eyes watering? Yeah. 
Yeah, that is so true, isn't it? It says on the container, so hot it's spooky. Definitely that, not doing a full teaspoon of that, never. That is spooky hot. Well, now I know for when I do mine, right? Yeah. Okay, final one. Might as well get it over with. Kajan's Trinidad Scorpion. My stomach is feeling a little funny. And it says on the side of this one, it's bringing the heat and nothing but the heat. Yeah. Always heat but nothing but the heat. I shouldn't talk much. Oh. oh gosh, that's way too much. Okay, part of that. Let's just say I did it. You had a pretty good bite of it, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's, how you feeling now? That's strong. That is really strong. Remember I put a drop of that on my omelet? Yeah. That ghost pepper stuff. Whew. So the scorpion's even worse, isn't it? No, that's actually worse because I took too much of it. I don't think this will help. It's, it's getting me lightheaded enough where I'm starting to think. Ah, oh, I was uh, getting me thinking, am I really here right now? Yeah. So lightheaded it's giving me. It's worse than when you had the 10 pepper challenge? Or about the same? That one jumped it up to worse. I wonder if that's because it's got the ghost pepper and the hot pepper extract. It's a heck of a combo. Feeling all right? Yeah. Nice perp. <laughs> Crude Brother Nick, the pepper master. Your eyes don't even seem like they're watering, though. Are they water? Remember what some tears came out earlier? It's a little bit. Uh, dude, look at the maruga. Doesn't that look like meatballs? Like, like m mashed up meatballs a little bit? A little bit. That stuff is really chunky. Yeah, that is. So the ghost, is the ghost team even hotter than the, just because you had more of it? Yeah, way more of it. That one just had like the tiniest sliver. So what'd you have of the ghost pepper, about half a spoonful? About a quarter. Okay. So is it, um, is it uh, um, hotter than when you had the, uh, the half of a fresh ghost pepper? Yeah. Really? Okay, wow. That's strong stuff then. Because I had a quarter of a teaspoon. It yeah, but you ate there. you ate half of a fresh one though. Yeah. That that was that wasn't as bad it as this. It wasn't a fresh one; it was a dried one. Oh, well, I thought you had a fresh ghost from Madison once. Well, yeah, but that was on the video. Okay. All right. Well, holding up like a champ, crude brother Nick. Fourteen hot sauces. See, earlier I stuffed him nose, and I still have. I mean, I thought that would make it go away, but still. Still stuffed up as heck. Didn't clear up your nose? No. So is that a myth? Peppers don't clear your sinuses? Well, maybe what maybe wasabi does, but not, not like other hot stuff. All right. There they are. All 14. Crude Brother Nick took them out. See you guys. Later.